The way you build trust with your team and your people is by being forthright and clear with them from day one. I'm Dick Costello, CEO of Twitter. A dribble or two for the Warriors to get this shot up. We go down, right? and here it comes. I'm Andre Iguodala, Golden State Warriors. How you doing, How are sir? You? Great to meet you. Good to meet you, too. Thanks for coming in. This is win-win. My favorite thing about Twitter and the way it's altered the dynamic for athletes is that there are these awesome people with these varied interests and a depth of experience and understanding of all these different things, and they can engage in that with their audience on Twitter in ways they weren't previously able to when their voice was mediated by somebody else. The whole idea here is really open space. We set it up so that everyone can kind of see what's going on everywhere. Like that's my office straight back there and everyone can see into it, see what's going on, see what's on the whiteboard. I wanted to set up a space where everybody had context for what's going on and didn't feel like they were isolated from each other. I really just wanted to meet a great mind, a great business mind, because at the end of the day, you know, I feel like I can be in a management role or ownership role where I can lead a lot of people. And what better way to, to learn about that than to get it from the best. I remember I talked to, I talked to Chris Bosch once and he was saying, I have to start thinking about life after basketball and like you can go to another company, but I'm basically the CEO of Chris Bosch. And what does that mean for me as a business person and how do I think about what I'm gonna do next? Exactly, and, and we tend to get kind of labeled or stuck in a lane to where we can only yeah. venture out and to be a basketball coach or analyst yeah. Yeah. Or, or something within the basketball area. And I think a lot of our, our guys are kind of have educated themselves to be able to in the other areas. It's funny how things work out, you know, and in your journey, obviously with Silicon Valley being here, my business manager and myself, uh, we had really just kind of dove in and started educating ourselves in the tech space uh, the past couple years before I got here. Um, so when it came time to be a free agent, it just came together so well. I think that one of the things people underestimate about business and sports is the requirement for mental toughness and how much mental toughness is a part of, you see that in the really great teams, right? That they have the mental toughness to get through down stretches and everything else. Mm -hmm. People who are successful, you have to really enjoy what you do. When it gets rough, it's not really rough. It's just, you know, something that you don't like about what you love. Yeah, so, uh, that's great. That's a great way to put that, it. yeah. There's a game room on this floor that the engineers use in the middle of the day or end of the day, morning, whenever they want to, to just blow off steam when they want to walk around. So I'm not going to speed throw it the under, underhanded like oh, I normally you, would, right. but rather I'm going to optimize for looking like I have a good shot, even if I don't score. Oh, you're athletic. And the suit jacket, too. That's pretty impressive. Oh, that's weak. It's not bad at all. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, he's going with the he's going with the all backboard strategy. That's a winning. That is a winning formula. Hasn't missed one yet. All backboard. This is how I shoot my free throws. <laughs> nice. Wow. Good. Seventy-seven. That's crazy. <laughs> nice match. When is enough enough? I have that conversation a lot. I'd happily keep doing this kind of thing purely for the competitive spirit and purely because we want to fulfill all these goals that we have that have nothing to do with any of the commercial success. Like, you know, I'm trying to get to that point where I'm with my son is, as far as, you know, where he you gotta understands. You got to keep him grounded. Right, yeah. where it's like, you want to buy this app, yeah. go in your piggy bank, give, that's me, right. give me $2. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, I like think that's super important, you know? I mean, I had to do all that stuff for myself growing up mm -hmm. and go make my own money and pay my way through college. And if you think in terms of like, I have my family, I have my friends, I have a house, and that's how you think about things, then you already have more than enough and anything else that happens, you can uh, use that to give back. And I think that's a great way of thinking about it. No one gets to the corner office by sitting on the side, not at the table. You're at the plate, we need to hit now. You win or lose today, and there's no tomorrow until tomorrow gets there.